So you've scored a touchdown. What are you going to do to celebrate? I'm going to go to Disney World. Don't get ahead of yourself there, Phil, because today's NFL has a few, okay, a lot of guidelines players need to follow when it comes to celebrating. First, there's the no-brainers, like you can't curse at your opponents or hit refs, take off your helmet, or make obscene or threatening gestures. Duh, right? But go a little further and some, well, complexities emerge. Like, you can do a legal celebration, obviously, but you can't do it for too long or you'll get flagged. How long is too long? Great question. It doesn't say. It's up to the ref in the moment. Wrap it up. Also, you can't go to the ground to celebrate, but you can celebrate if you're already on the ground. So this no angel is okay, while this no angel is not. But of course, there's an exception. You can go to the ground if you're praying. So yes, you can Tebow, and yes, you can Abdullah. Thank you, Jesus. You can dance a la Victor Cruz, but you can't dance with your friends. You can spike the ball, but you can't use it or anything else as a prop. So no using it as a pretend basketball and definitely no using it as a pretend poop. Speaking of props, you can't use actual props at any point. No Sharpies, popcorn, or the pylon. But apparently you can use a big red cauldron at the back of the end zone if you play for the Dallas Cowboys. You can't do anything that mimics violence, like pretending to shoot a gun, or as Josh Norman found out, pretending to shoot an arrow. You can do a bunch of stuff generally, but you can't do them at an opponent or it counts as taunting. Think your sack dances, your first down signals, your incredible Hulk? That's actually in the rule book? I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Finally, there's the stuff you can't do at any time, anywhere on the field. No throat slashing, no stomping on a team logo, no prolonged gyration, although a little gyration is fine, and definitely no sexually suggestive gestures. Unfortunately, there's no elaboration on what constitutes sexually suggestive, so we're just at the whim of whatever the ref finds sexy. Did you get all that? Still in the mood for some good old legal celebration approved by the No Fun League? Well then, have at it, my friend, because you've earned it. And that is how football actually works.